Hello and welcome back. This is going to be another VCAS video. We're going to highlight some features and capabilities of VCAS Pro. This is going to be a series of videos on VCAS Pro in order to show you different ways of creating your instructions. So here we are in our work instruction from our light video. Uh, we're going to use our forms in our elements section in order to create some data inputs here. These are going to be some simple checklist items to start off with and we will build from there. This one is going to be a pre-production checklist. We are going to have some confirmations for some safety equipment. We're going to go to our trigger section. Uh, we can have these forms display at any interval we want to. This can be time-based. This can be event-based every five cycles, on stop, on pause. I'm going to say on first cycle. This means that this will display on the first time I go through the instruction, and that's it. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to select show on entering the step because we can show when we're entering or leaving the step. We can display this form. We're going to go to our layout tab and we are going to see all the different fields that we can add to our form. There's a lot of different inputs that we can use. Anywhere from multi-line and single line inputs, check boxes, editing attachments, drop down lists. And all these can be used in order to create and customize the type of input that you want. Okay, for this input, it's going to be a section header and a checkbox. The section header is just going to be a basically a heading. Uh, we're going to say confirm the following PPE is worn. Our checkbox now is actually going to be a list of the different items that we want the user to wear. So our safety glasses and our ESD bracelet are going to be our required items. We are going to make this input required by checking the required checkbox. After that, we are going to select where it says choice one, and we're going to say confirmed. When we preview this form, you're going to be able to see everything that we've created and verify that it's correct. Any of the items you create, you'll be able to see in the elements section. Uh, we're going to create one more form. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our last step, and we're going to create another form. This one is going to be a final inspection checklist. So we're going to type that in in the name field. So after we do that, now what we're going to do is select our trigger. This time I'm going to say on stop. So this is any time the user stops a job, this form will display. We're going to go to our layout tab. You're going to see some common things that are going to happen here. We're going to go to our layout tab, and now we're going to create our input. So I'm going to create another checklist item, and this is just going to be a simple checkbox, confirmation, verification ensure that all your tools are put away. So I'm going to type out my text here. I'm going to make this required. And then what I'm going to do is where it says choice one, I'm going to say confirmed. Uh, now I'm going to do something additional here. Here's our preview. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my layout tab and I'm going to make a copy of my data input. Uh, so I'm going to make a second checklist item. It's going to be an exact copy. I can go to that exact copy and I can rename it. Now this is just a quick way of making some additional inputs not having to check that required button, not having to type confirmed in again. If things are similar, you can make copies, preview it, and make sure everything looks correct. Okay, now we're going to take on the role of somebody executing the instruction. So as we go through the process, we're going to start our job and execute this. We're going to see our checklists as they're displayed. We're going to try and save, and it's going to say, hey, this field's required. You have to fill out the information. You have to save it. All this information, anything that a user fills out, is date and time stamped by them that they completed the work. We fast forward, we get to the end of the job, and we want to stop this. When we press stop, we say, I completed my job. Yes, I'm done. Final inspection checklist. So now here's our verifications for our final inspection checklist. We transition again into our reporting section where we can actually see the different jobs that are going on or that are completed. We can then find our job, and we can click on the View button in order to view the information. Uh, this can be time information, events, and any of the forms that are filled out, as you're seeing here, date and time stamped by the user that completed the work. So you have full traceability down to the user for anything done in the system. Thank you very much for watching the video, and stay tuned for more VKS videos in order to show our different features and capabilities.